Okay, so this is another option CT MRI and now I'll talk about the water enema that is very interesting and I hope you will understand. Enema means it is a fluid is given in retrograde directions means through the anus through the rectum the fluid is pushed inside into the sigmoid colon and the ascending descending colon transverse colon as far as it is it can go sometimes they give not only the water they can give also the soap water that is also acts as an enema for constipation to clean the bowel okay so enema is mainly given to clean the bowel for the preparation for the some modalities okay so now during the ultrasonography, we might see some problem. What? In the posterior to the uterus, which is uh, uh, rectum is there, you might see, you might see some suspicious mass. You might see some suspicious mass and you are get confused because you might think there is a pedunculated posterior fibroid or subserous fibroid on the posterior wall because patient may have constipation patient may have the hard stool in the rectum it gives the sono appearance looks like a mass coming from anterior. Then who is anterior? The uterus. So, you cannot isolate the hard stool in the rectum versus the fibroid from the posterior wall of the uterus compressing the rectum. Okay? Let me uh, give you the idea the anatomy first bladder, uterus and the rectum. Who is this is front and this is back. Bladder, uterus and the rectum. Look at here the uterus and the rectum is so close. And if there is, okay, let me make the rectum is a little bulky.
okay and they're very close and if there is a fibroid fibroid is growing bigger what can happen if it is growing bigger then definitely the rectum will say oh my god who is this pushing me posterior okay who is me who is this pushing me posterior that might be pedunculated fibroid look at here pedunculated fibroid is like this fibroid that has a pedicle it can fall back and it compress the rectum patient may have constipation and again patient may have a hard stool Heart stole inside the rectum and this is fibroid posterior okay sonographically you saw that this is producing shadow and this is also producing shadow this is heterogeneous complex looking this is also heterogeneous complex looking then how can you rule out that this mass is not a fibroid now understand if this is not a fibroid it is a hard stool inside the rectum and you insert the water enema water okay through a tube Okay, through it tube. This is water. Then what again? What gonna happen? The water will go everywhere around the heart feces. Water will go everywhere around the heart faces inside the rectum when it goes everywhere around the heart this is structures there's a heart faces then you can say oh this mass is within the rectum because i see the rectal wall and i see the water around it okay so then this is water so then you can say oh so this is a mass arising from the rectum or it could be a heart feces then you can see oh this indentation is coming from outside from the uh, it will us okay so enema can help you to identify is it a hard mass then fluid will hard stool fluid will go all around fluid will go all around the water so then you can say it is a hard face not even the rectal mass if it is a rectal mass 
then you will see, let me draw a rectal mass here. A mass attached with wall. Keep that in mind. When it is attached with the wall, the fluid will go all around except the wall. Okay, you will see the fluid is here. There's a water. Except this wall. This wall is let me make it brighter. This wall is intact. And no fluid over there. So this is a mass because it is attached with the wall. Click the color, then you will see the blood flow is going inside. So this is mass. If it's a hard physis then you will see the fluid goes all around and you can see the heart physis okay so this is a heart physis I'm making it little designed Okay, so this is heart physis. Uh, this, this. Okay, and in heart physis, the fluid will go all around. Let me make it more darker to understand that this is fluid around and it is not attached with the wall. So, Okay, and let me nice, but this is attached with the wall, so this is the mass. So all of them can give the same appearance sonographically. I will draw that. So now you will understand. So Okay, so now Okay, this is the rectum. Look at here, how the rectum is compressed. Sonographically, you cannot rule out that this mass is within the rectum or not. This mass is a fecal mass or not. Because it gives the posterior shadow and looks heterogeneous complex looking okay so it could be fibroid 
it could be rectal mass and it could be hard feces hard feces okay so now if you give the enema enema will go okay enema will go into the rectum and you can easily see that this mass is a continuation with the uterus and the rectum is just compressed posteriorly by a subserous fibroid okay so this is enema enema will go and if there's a mass inside the rectum so then you will see i'm drawing the mass here okay you will see this is mass so this is fibroid and this is mass okay and if this is the hard feces hard faces okay in that way you can differentiate each other and enema water enema is done okay so sometimes we need to do the ultrasonography with the water enema and it will help you to rule out is it a mass from the uterus or mass from the rectum or hard feces okay that's all for today i hope you got a lot of informations today and just combine together you can identify the diagnosis okay thank you very much for paying attention and the next time we will discuss about something else and definitely we'll talk about the uh, pathology of the female reproductive system okay thank you so much bye